are having a wonderful day. Well, I am back at you again with another DIY project and we're going to be making this beauty right here. I have been working on this prototype all day yesterday and I finally figured out I think you guys are really going to love this centerpiece. It's definitely on trend. This is one of the new looks uh, in the special events industry for centerpieces and you will be able to do it uh, as a DIY project at a fraction of the cost. Now I'm going to insert an inspiration picture showing how much you would pay if you bought it from a manufacturer and how much it's going to cost you to DIY it. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I spent a lot of time thinking through this so that it would be a really great piece for you guys that you would have a lot of success with and it is very sturdy and it's also elegant. I think it's beautiful and so I think you're really going to love this project. So I'm going to insert that inspiration picture and then right after that we're going to get right into this video because this video is going to be a little lengthy only because I want to make sure that you guys take your time and do this correctly so that you'll have a successful project. All right. So let's hit it with the inspiration picture. All right, everyone. So the first thing you want to do is get your two 10 inch rounds and you can get these from Walmart. You can also get them from all of the craft stores. Okay, so this is your 10 inch round. You're going to have two of them. We're going to put one on top of the other one and just make sure that it's even. Then we're going to take our little template. There is going to be a template that you can download in the description box below. And you can go ahead and print that out. And that will help you to make sure that you put the holes in the right place. Okay, so that they are even on all sides. I tacked down the template with these T-pins just so they would move. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my PVC and this is, a, we'll get into what this is in a second, but um, I'm going to go ahead and take my PVC pipe and this is a section that was cut off and I'm going to go ahead and start making my holes. Just, I just want to indent where they're supposed to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my template off. And we have our four holes as you can see. I'm going to sit this back down and make sure that when I look and I go all the way around that both of these floral foam rounds are flush with each other like they're exactly where they're supposed to be on top of each other okay they're an exact match then I'm going to go ahead and take my PVC pipe and I'm going to start pushing through all the way to the other floral foam you might want to hold this down while you're doing it too Okay, so that hole came out a little bit bigger, but that's okay. It's not a big deal because the, the whole thing is that we just want to make sure that they're pretty much in the same vicinity as the other one. Okay, they're pretty much in the same position as the other one because you'll still have to adjust these afterwards. Okay, so I'm taking my tube and I'm also uh, making the holes go down a little bit further on the second one. Okay, so this one that goes all the way through on both sides, this is going to be our bottom piece. Now, if you want a hole in the middle so you can have sort of like a um, sort of like a reef type effect, um, this is how I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to take this round wooden block that I got from the uh, Dollar Tree and I'm going to center it. I'm going to eyeball this thing and kind of center it as much as possible. You can use your tape measure if you want to get it exact. And I'm going to center it 
and then uh, take a pen and just basically press down and go all the way around so I can make an indentation and I know where I need to cut. So I'm just going to eyeball this thing. Like I said, you can use a tape measure. Once I feel pretty good about where I have this um, wooden, uh, wooden plaque, I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and just kind of go around and dig into the floral foam so I know where I need to cut. Okay, so that's our bottom, and you can see where I'm going to start cutting right in there. The best thing to do is to use a styrofoam cutter. I cannot find mine, so I'm just going to use um, a knife instead. I'm going to take a wood block or cutting board and put it right underneath it so I don't mess up my table. And I'm going to uh, start cutting this thing out with my knife. All right, guys, so I did get this cut. It's a little rough, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't, it's not going to really show. It's going to get covered up with flowers, so it's no big deal. Again, if you use the foam cutter, it will come out much neater than this, okay? But like I said, I can find mine. So this is going to be our bottom portion, and this is going to be our top, okay? We're going to go ahead and attach our bottom part uh, to a base because this does need a base. So this is some 10 inch, um, these are 10 inch and I'll flash them up in the screen right there. But these are 10 inch cake rounds that I got from Joann's in gold. And there's three of them in the pack and I hot glued all three of them together, okay? And this is our base. If you can find a 10 inch wooden plaque, that would be ideal, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This works just as well because it's very heavy cardboard. Like I said, I hot glued all three of these together. Is we're going to hot glue this onto our cake round because we need a base, okay? So we have glued uh, one of our um, floral foam rounds onto our 10 inch cake round okay we've hot glued it on there this is the bottom okay this is our top now we're going to set this to the side for a minute so this is the PVC pipe that we're going to be using and this comes five inches tall now I went into Lowe's and I recorded exactly where I found this PVC but I'm going to go ahead and insert the um, Lowe's clip that will show you exactly where to find this at the hardware store. Okay guys, I am in Lowe's and this is the one you want for $248. That is the symbol and everything on there. And these are um, connectors, I guess that's what they're called. Plexi pipes, I'm sorry, plexi pipes. The one for $248, right here in Lowe's. There you go guys. So now that you know where to find this, what you want to do is you want to take a Sharpie and you want to mark this at 35 inches. So we have our tape measure right at the 35 inch mark and we're going to go ahead and cut that and I'm going to show you how we're going to cut our pipe. We're going to be using this PVC cutter and uh, you can get this from Lowe's. I believe I might have paid somewhere around $16, $17 uh, for this. I believe it was on sale at the time. Uh, it may be $20, bucks, but this is by Lennox. And this is the 1 by 5 16 max. So that's the max size that you can get in here to cut a PVC pipe. This is the bomb. Okay, this is the straight up bomb. I'm so glad I got this. So it's going to be a breeze to cut this pipe because this is only 3 8 so it's going to be super easy. What you want to do is just line up. You see where we're going to be cutting. And we're going to line our blade up. And then just hold our, hold our pipe steady and press down. That's it. 
super easy and you get a pretty nice level cut too and I didn't even have to lean it up against anything to get a level cut this is pretty decent so now we have our pipe that is cut down to size you are going to want to cut four of these uh, if you are doing a 35 inch length if you're doing it shorter then you might be able to get away with just three of these um, PVC uh, PVC tubing I'll call it tubing because really it's not really a pipe it's more tubing than anything else so you'll be able to get away with three PVC tubings as opposed to four but for this particular project at 35 inches you will need four of these what I want to mention is that we're going to need this round here we're going to need to keep this and I'm going to show you why okay so I'm going to get down on the ground because we got to get down and dirty for this okay guys so remember this um, piece that we took that we cut out we're going to need this so we're going to set this to the side because we are going to need this this is a very important part of keeping this whole thing um, steady stable sturdy this is what you're going to need so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and start uh, putting in our hot glue put in a generous amount of hot glue and you can even put some on the uh, PVC tubing as well nothing wrong with that and stick it right down in that hole now this is where this extra piece of styrofoam comes in because after you put let me get a little bit closer after you put the tube in and after you apply the hot glue it's going to eat up some of the styrofoam and you are going to need to fill that in we're going to take small bits of styrofoam and just kind of build that hole back up that got eaten up by the hot glue um, uh, because we want to make sure that we are creating a nice base and we're also going to be looking at our tubing and making sure everything looks pretty straight so we're going to be taking chunks chunks of styrofoam and pushing it down inside of the hole wherever it was compromised and got melted away by the hot glue and then we're also going to apply some more hot glue and then we're going to put some more chunks of styrofoam around it because we want to build that area up that is very very important in this project okay guys so if you can see that we have built up around the hole with more styrofoam because this really gives a lot of support to our PVC okay before we place the rest of these into our holes we want to start bending these and you want to do it two at a time so you want to take two of these and just start find the center and just start bending them because we need to kind of get them in position okay don't worry about the one that we just put in I just wanted to show you how to put that in there but we need to start bending these so find your center and start bending and they're very um, they're they're bendable they're not very bendable but they are bendable so if you can see we already have a little bit of an arch in here so as you can see guys we have a nice arch going here we have the nice and arched up okay we bent them up nicely so once again just take it from two ends and just start bending it so you can get a nice little curve don't over bend okay but just kind of get a curve going okay guys so we have um, gone ahead and applied uh, two of our tubings into our styrofoam and now we're going to join them together we're going to join these two pieces together 
we're going to bring them in unison and what this is how we're going to do it okay so we're going to pull them together and then we are going to use a zip tie and we're going to tie it I think this is a good spot to tie it in so you want to kind of tie it in the center if you can guys you want to make sure that your zip tie is centered you also want to look at it really good to make sure where these two um, tubings these two PVC tubings meet that it is centered okay so you want to make sure that you do that and uh, once you feel pretty good about the position then you can go ahead and tighten the zip tie and then just use a floral cutter to um, cut off the excess We're going to go ahead and add our other two pieces of PVC tubing. Same method, applying a generous amount of hot glue into the hole and then also applying hot glue onto the PVC pipe itself. We're going to take our other uh, zip tie and we are now going to join the other two pieces to the center piece. Okay, so you're going to take your zip tie and you're going to join all four of them together that's what that looks like guys you're going to take the last zip tie and join all four pieces together across okay that's what that looks like and then once you tighten it up you can go ahead and trim it with your floral cutter so our next step is to go ahead and take our top styrofoam and make sure that your holes go back as far as they can go to where you almost punch through the styrofoam, but not exactly, okay? It's really, really close to me punching through the styrofoam, but I haven't, okay? And then what you want to do is go ahead and take your styrofoam and start lining it up with the holes. So you want to put your tubing right through those holes that you created. Now we want to take our leveler just to see um, how close we are to having this pretty straight on here. And you can purchase one of these from the Dollar Tree. Okay guys, we have achieved perfection. It is leveled. So the second project came out much better than the first project. It is completely leveled. So there we have it guys. Our project is completed and it is beautiful. This one came out way better than the first one. Absolutely love it. Second time is the sweet spot. It came out great. Everything is lined up perfectly. Now all we need to do is cover over our um, cover over the zip ties and you just want to cut a nice generous amount. Rip it in half. Put a nice generous piece of duct tape on there and this is going to paint real well and then we'll cover it over with some diamond wrap and you won't even notice. So the next step, guys, is to go ahead and get this painted. I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum 2X Metallic Gold. All right, guys, so we are done here. We're finished painting our um, centerpiece, and now we are ready to apply florals. Um, to try to keep this video short, I'm not going to apply the florals. Uh, I think that's pretty simple. You've got, some, you've got a floral foam on the bottom and a floral foam on the top, so I'm not going to actually uh, do that on camera. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up because this video is probably going to be about 30 minutes long okay so this is what it looks like after it is painted okay guys so this is what it looks like after you apply your florals i wish i could have did that on camera but i'm really trying to keep this video under 30 minutes if that's possible okay so this came out way better than i thought it would i know you guys are going to absolutely love this project it is beautiful okay absolutely stunning so make sure you rate the video please rate the video please share the video and also hit me up on my social media platforms which is Facebook 
and Instagram. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next DIY video. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to insert this little clip. It's going to make the video a little bit longer, but I thought this was important. I just want to let you guys know that this is a sturdy project. I would not put this out if this was not sturdy. This is very sturdy, okay? It has a little bit of plate to it, which is fine because of the flexibility of these PVC tubes. But this is a flexible project. Once you get this done, it's not going to bend. It's not going to tip over. As you can see, I literally have to move it to tip it over. It is not going to tip over. It's not going to lean. It's not going to bend, okay? This is very, very sturdy. This can take the weight of silk flowers, okay? Make sure that you only do this project for silk flowers only. If you are trying to use fresh flowers, you will need to purchase one of these um, from China because it's made out of metal and you need metal in order to help hold the weight of fresh flowers and water soaked oasis because that stuff gets very heavy so you cannot do this project okay this is just for silk flowers only okay so this is a very good project and like I said it's super sturdy one of the things that's very very important that I'm going to keep highlighting is make sure you follow the directions in this video exactly how I told you to do it not to be condescending guys I just I love you guys I just want to make sure that you have success with this project and you're super happy that you spent the time doing it you always want to make sure that you follow the directions and reinforce with extra styrofoam around the openings where the pipe goes into the um, floral foam round that is critical it's very very important that's going to provide stability to this and like I said it's going to be a little flexible but when you get your flowers in here and you put this on a table, it stays still. The only way it moves is if you move it, okay? It will stay still. So this is super, super important that you make sure that you reinforce around the PVC pipes, okay? If you see anybody doing a YouTube video and showing you that you need to reinforce around PVC pipe with styrofoam, know that they jacked me and they took that off my video, okay? Because <laughs> people love to do stuff and don't give you credit. So, um... <laughs> This is it, guys, and I know you're really, really going to absolutely love this project.